Following the first day's racing at Glorious Goodwood, some of racing's finest turned out to play in a charity cricket game. Ed Dunlop was captain of the racing 11. Okay, heads. Heads it is. Right. Heads it is, right. The taverners will bat. Okay. Thank you very much. It's a done deal. Sorry. <laughs> So after losing the coin toss, the ex-professional cricketers went into bat, including former England international Andy Caddick. Yeah, it's all for charity and it's all for the um, taverners and it's all for uh, special needs children. So yeah, this is what we do now. And we're all, every, every professional cricketer is a member of the oh, taverners in, yeah, in one way or the other. And um, you know, and you can't, you can't beat when you're playing places like this. So uh, it's a nice relaxed atmosphere. Sun's gorgeous, mm -hmm. where we go. And what do you set yourself as target? You, you're going to go out there and try and hit a quick 25, quick 50? We'll see. <laughs> you, you are, aren't you, though? <laughs> we'll see. I'll leave that for you to decide. OK, well, good luck. Thanks. Bye. So, in front of Goodwood House, a beautiful setting just near Goodwood Racecourse, Charlie Hills was first up to bowl. See how he would get along. Not so good, really, is it? That's um, four runs. Charlie giving away a few runs there. Lord Taverners already gathering pace. Here comes Charlie again. Maybe this time, no. Another four. Charlie looking a bit despondent in the background. Not looking so good so far for the racing 11. Let's get some speed on from this end, shall we? Oh, no. Well, at least no runs there. The younger legs seem to be doing the job. Here's Charlie once again then. Have another go. And, yep. That's four runs, so not just what about Charlie this time and another four. Not Charlie Hill's day so far with the ball perhaps. What about this time? This time surely appeals but not out. Despondent. Charlie looks back. Never mind. What about Nick Gifford? Now he's pretty good. National Hunt trainer and there's the first wicket. Court and bowl. Wow. Nick Gifford takes a wicket. And of course, as is customary, when wickets are taken, all these teammates come in to join in the celebrations. William Knight in the background, Ed Dunlop coming from the uh, back of the field there to join in as well, probably the tallest player on the park. Jono Spence, who helped organise it, also in there. Here's Nick Gibbard once again. Surely he can't do it again. There's a massive shot comes out. And uh, Andy Caddick is caught by Ed Dunlop. What a fantastic catch. That was, unfortunately, not quite caught in full view of the cameras. But uh, I'm sure Ed's played this down. He'll be very relaxed about... Oh, here he is now. Celebrating. High fives. Nick Gifford and Ed Dunlop taking the wicket. Great catch. Now, what about Charlie Hills? Oh, he's coming... Over the wicket this time. This will be much better, surely, from Charlie. Oh, I think we may have found the secret. So, now then. What about getting the wicket? Here comes Charlie once again. Over the wicket and... Oh, no. It's gone for four. Oh, well. If at first you don't succeed... Let's have a bit of pace from the other side. And there's a wicket. Oh, the Lord's Taverner X-Pro. Bowled out by the young and youthful Racing Eleven. Charlie's back, this time, ouch. That could be six, but it's been checked out oh, six runs. Never mind, Charlie, as they continue the innings. Fantastic stuff by the Lord's Taverners. Lots of runs, danger for the crowd mainly, who had to keep out of their way as the balls kept coming in. Not many wickets were falling that early. And shots like this just proved how tough it was going to be for the Racing Eleven to get a victory. The crowd looking on at Goodwood House, the beautiful, beautiful surroundings, just half a mile from the race course. And what a wonderful occasion after day one of glorious Goodwood and beautiful sunshine. So, 179 is what the Lord's Tavern has made. Here's Ollie Bell, Racing UK presenter. Along with John O'Spence at the other end, and they're getting some runs. They've got to reach 180 to win this charity cricket game. 
Now, here comes Oli. What's he got? Oh, a little fast, that one. Andy Caddick, former England international bowling. But Oli says, hold on a minute, I'm a youngster here. And whacks the ball out. That goes for four runs. The bowler not impressed. What about Jono Spencer the other one? Look at this one. Massive shot. That's out the park. Shot. Shot, mate. Well, after reaching 25 runs, Beautiful, it was man. time to catch up with Ollie Bell. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience out there. Um, a lot of the guys we were playing with, like I grew up watching playing cricket, so just oh, to no, be able to yeah. sort of face him for one ball was a, a real privilege. Um, I don't think Andy Caddick appreciated me hitting him for four because he told me that <laughs> after I did that, he goes, you better go and get your helmet now. So <laughs> I was frightened for the rest of the innings, but um, it was great, great fun. It's yeah, always a good deal. I here. don't think you're supposed to hit them for four. No, I know, that's not in the etiquette, I don't no. think. I think you're meant to block everything and then they win and then, yeah. you know, yeah, they've it. still got it and all that. And how fast are those balls coming? Is it, I mean, you play cricket, so yeah. you're used to some kind of, you know, uh, bowler bowling at you. Yeah, I, I don't think, well, I know they weren't bowling full pace because uh, if they were, I wouldn't have been able to see it. But um, it, to be honest with you, you know, Andy was still pretty lively down there. So uh, it, was, it was a bit of a test, but nowhere near what he was bowling when he was playing for England. Yeah, and, and you were a bit nervous, a bit apprehensive beforehand, perhaps? Yeah, well, I mean, when, when someone tells you that Andy Caddick's fired up and he wants to take your head off, which was the joke going around the pavilion beforehand, I right. thought... OK, yeah, that's put the fear of God in me. But um, but in the end, once you get into it, Jono was great as well. Jono's still still out there, so he, yeah. he was fantastic. He's seeing it like a beach ball at the moment. And we started pretty well, and the other guy that's just come in, he's a, a very good player. So I think we've got half a chance, which is good. We've set up the innings well anyway. Absolutely. Very solid, wasn't it? And you got, what, you got 25 in the end? You must be delighted. Yeah, 25. It's my first time here, and I fielded like a lemon. So <laughs> the fact that I was able to contribute in some small way, I think made up for my fielding errors, because I wasn't very good out there. Uh, uh so with the sun setting... John o. Spence put on an amazing 59 runs, and after his innings, we caught up with him. John, that was pretty impressive. Well done. Yeah, it was uh, great fun. I think the guys well done, uh, took me a bit of time to uh, warm up with uh, Andy <laughs> Cad Caddick coming down at me, but it was uh, it was great fun. I enjoyed it. Got going and got the timing going, and it's the most beautiful setting. And it's a great, you know, played in great spirit against the Taverners, who are a great bunch of guys. They got some seriously good players and. They play in the spirit, set a good total, and hopefully we can get somewhere near it. We've got a long way to go, though. Well, you did pretty well. I mean, you got you got over 50, half century, yeah. in, a, in what, 11 or 12 overs or so. I mean, that's pretty good going in anyone's books, isn't it? Yeah, no, I was very pleased. 59, no, it was a good knock. Um, no, I was very, very, very pleased. I'm only really a batsman, so <laughs> makes up for me wandering around in the field. Okay. Taverners is, you know, the most fantastic charity, and that's what it's all about. You know, it's the yeah. pros coming back and playing in games like this in the right spirits of, of cricket and what a fantastic setting after a great day's racing at Goodwood. And you put on 59 yourself, Ollie Bell put 25 on I think. There's no chance we're not going to see Charlie Hills, Ed Dunlop and all, mm. all the rest, but they're not going to be here, are they? We, they're all just watching now. I don't know, we just lost two wickets and five <laughs> balls, so I don't think we better count our chickens quite yet. And so, with the sun setting at Goodwood House, 173, just six runs short, for the racing 11 they couldn't get the victory but afterwards it was handshakes all round and a terrific performance by some of those racing personalities all in the aid of children's charities well done to all of those involved well, well.